Let's see about the concept of water retaining structure and how in our office GCS structural consultants we adopt this concept. We have two structures for that for what uh, we are considering this uh, uh, concept of water retaining structures. We are discussing two models, two structural models. One is a complete uh, uh, underground tank. This is the full three dimensional underground tank. What exactly we do in our offices uh, for any particular water retaining structure, it can be WTP or STP or to that extent any structure which retains the water, we model the complete uh, water retaining structure as a whole. So suppose we have a structure wherein there are so many um, partitions con uh, consisting of different uh, uh, sections say one is for flocculator, one is for tube settler, one is for stilling chamber etc. We model it as a whole and we judge uh, uh, the water say in one uh, chamber full other chamber empty or so much permutation and combinations we do uh, what so finally what we uh, come to a conclusion is that we would be uh, completing the modeling the structure as a whole then uh, finally giving the uh, necessary load to it and then taking the stresses for our uh, 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 wall design. Here we follow the working stress method and uh, based on IS3370 and this is the concept which we adopt for all structures we take the uh, concept as uh, uh, it should be a crack free structure in water retaining structure as per 3370 and we do adopt this concept consisting of uh, calculated uh, direct tensile stress by permissible tensile stress plus uh, calculated bending tensile stress by permissible bending tensile stress should be less than or equal to 1 which makes it uh, mm, uh, the structure crack free. This is the concept we adopt for that what we do in our offices. We do model the structure as a whole and after giving the certain loads, for example, uh, this is the modeled uh, plate. Uh, we just take the results of this plate. We'll get eight uh, stresses due to the, say I have taken one load here for that particular uh, plate. And we have the eight stresses that is these are the moment per unit width, these are the shear stresses and these are the membrane stresses in plane shear stress. So we do have this eight stresses and we have the wood armor equation which is uh, calculated based on this eight plate stresses and uh, finally we calculate the steel required based on this concept. And the concept of wood and armor equation, we have a separate video on that. So I will not be discussing about that concept now. So these are the eight stresses, plate stresses for which we design the uh, water tanks wall. And we see that the stress when we uh, consider for uh, water tank design is not to exceed 130 Newton per millimeter square. This is as per IS3370 code. So this is what we follow in the design of uh, water retaining structure. And uh, as a summary, uh, what we do in our office is whatever the quantum of water retaining structure, maybe it's a uh, small water retaining or a big water retaining, we model the water retaining as a whole. Some or a septic tank or any other structure related to 
water or subjected to water force we model it as a whole and even sometimes for the water retaining structure inside the ground one part of the water retaining structure would have uh, 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 the way it had has to retain the soil even then then we model it as or we give the soil load in one direction and other direction in water and uh, we do not merge these two combinations uh, th these two primary loads um, we consider one at a time probably uh, one side water is there and other side uh, there uh, once uh, uh, when we consider the um, soil pressure there is no water inside and moreover this particular structure for example this particular structure if it has uh, resting well below the ground there is a chance that due to uplift or uh, due to water label uh, water table being high this uh, particular structure may be uplifted uh, for that purpose we do have a check such that a whole structure is uh, including its dead weight and uh, the soil weight all round will be uh, such that the uplift force is nullified by at least 20 percent more that means the factor of safety against the uplift is 1.2 that that concept we do follow in our office and uh, one more thing if it is a uh, framed structure we do the frames as per our uh, design and we uh, about that the water retaining structure is rested and if it is the ohsr we do the same uh, concept adopt the same concept of uh, this wood and armor equation stresses that means we model the ohsr as a whole and the cylinder top uh, top conical dome bottom conical dome uh, all these stresses uh, we do model in our uh, mm, water tank model and then we take these stresses for our analysis and finally the design here see now this point at this particular junction here we have two walls meeting at this point here this and this or in other opposite area also so the plate stresses what we do consider here suppose this is the plate stresses uh, what we earlier saw this is the plate stresses what we earlier saw or uh, uh, actually these are the plate central stresses so at this point uh, we require a plate corner stresses to be analyzed because this junction has got certain amount of uh, tension generated due to the plate uh, having an interconnection or monolithic action certain amount of uh, tension is produced due to the water force being induced in this uh, particular wall which induce tension in this wall and vice versa so at that junction we may have to take the corner stresses instead of the plate stresses so we have we do adopt two techniques in our office either we go for uh, a corner stresses calculation or we go for uh, uh, haunch we try to give a haunch we may observe in most of the tanks we do have certain amount of haunch so in plan we'll try to give a haunch and take the central stresses for our analysis that is one of the uh, way which we can adopt and that we do in the office or else in our office rather uh, or else what we can do is we can take the corner stresses so for this particular uh, say this is the plate which we have we'll go to the output and uh, take the plate corner stress
So these are the same corner stress uh, for that particular plate and these corner stresses are uh, these are the shear membrane and the bending and this can be transferred to uh, uh, or these are the eight stresses which can be analyzed uh, uh, and uh, as per that wood and armor equation and finally the steel can be considered in our analysis or provided in our analysis that's what uh, we do in our office either we go for corner stress analysis or provide a haunch uh, wherever applicable and we generally prefer haunching instead of going for corner stresses uh, which will simplify our results or uh, simplify our analysis if uh, case permits that we shouldn't use or uh, haunch is not uh, possible in that particular junction then we uh, go for uh, the corner stress analysis this is what we uh, do in most of the tanks or uh, uh, maybe in the junction where there are certain amount of tension being produced thank you